What's up everyone? It's Dark Spyro here with more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links content for you today. And we're going to go into the rank towers once again, and we're going to try and get to the King of Games rank. So this playlist is going to be my Climb to King of Games, which is a Road to Rank style playlist. The other one is going to be more so uh, character and deck showcasings. So if you're going to notice, I'm using Red Eyes and Buster with my Joy Wheeler. So nothing new, except... I did make some modifications to my deck. It's a little bit shorter, and I got my Destruction Swordsman Fusion and Buster Whelp in here to complement my Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. And my hidden card in here is also DNA Surgery. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't, but um, it's actually pretty funny when it does help. So without further intro, we're going to jump right on into... I think I'm Platinum 1, so we're going to jump on into the Platinum section, try and fight our way through, and get to Legend. And then after Legend is obviously King of Games, which is the highest rank. And once we've achieved that, every season we'll try and go back up to the King of Games rank. So I guess uh, this series is going to be dependent on how quickly I get there. If it takes me forever, then I have to keep pushing these out every season. But if I reach King of Games, you'll still have... Uh, character and deck showcasings to look forward to try out different strategies keep things interesting now we got a yami yugi as our first opponent here this should be interesting that's one of my other favorite characters i'm not very good with the dark magicians but i do like them uh i'm not very good with any deck i guess you could say but i prefer to use red eyes or dark magician Ooh, red eyes fusion so I'm going to use a Red Eyes Insight right off the gate. I'm going to try and get... Um, I wanted to throw a Red Eyes away, but I'm going to throw my Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning away. And pull out my Red Eyes Spirit. Uh, he's got three down cards. So I'm going to play Return of the Red Eyes first. And then Red Eyes Fusion next. I uh, want to put Buster Blader into the graveyard so that Buster Whelp can bring him back. I'll throw him in attack position. I'll see if he has any down cards that are going to come after me. Maybe. Nope. I'm going to set Red Eyes Wyvern. Um, should I attack is the question. Now, if I really want to get Buster Blader out there... Probably not, but that's okay. We're going to equip him anyways because it's better just in case. Yeah, see, he's going to activate a down card. What is it going to be? Enemy controller? Nope, drowning mirror force. You're going to banish my attack position card. Or not attack, return to the attack. And Buster Blader doesn't get banished or nothing because he wasn't equipped. So... Red Eyes Wyvern goes down. I could bring out my Red Eyes Black Dragon or my Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning. But that's not till the following turn. But uh, if he's going to attack me like this, I didn't think he was. What do you got here? Uh, No, I'm not going to pop it yet. Yeah, banish a monster and then banish that card. Okay. That kind of sucks that he's going to throw the Wyvern out. We're both banished, which sucks. I could have really used the Wyvern in my graveyard. It's where uh, his best effect is, obviously. Ooh, retro. All right, I'm going to have to set Red Eye Spirit, unfortunately. Let's do it. Buster Welp. Bring me the magic. And now we're going to tribute our Buster Welp. Bring back Buster Blader from the graveyard. Put him in face-up defense position because I guarantee... Nope, nothing. Okay, cool. And big money. See, 
if I would have had DNA surgeon out and he would have had anything on the field, then the idea strategy is to throw everything into dragons, and just try and force them all to pos defense position, and just piercing damage them. But as you see, battle phase, no direct attack capabilities. So he's a defensive stalwart right now. But yeah, there's just no dragons on the field and I don't have DNA surgeon to turn him into dragons. So he's not really an overpowered menace right now. But he can be. So what I'm going to do here, Red Eye Spirit. Uh, Retro Dragon's not a bad idea, because he's not a normal monster, or Gemini monster. Put him in defense. Now we should be able to use Return of the Red Eyes to bring back Archfiend of Lightning. Thank you. <sighs> Might as well throw him in attack position. Alrighty, what do we got here? Right as baby dragon, eh? Alright, let's summon Archfiend of Lightning first. Okay, nothing. Uh, I'm gonna activate Retro Dragon's effect. Alright, let's hope for the best here. Ooh. Well, we're going to be 200 shy, which is unfortunate. But I really thought he's going to downcard me. I guess it's playing too overcautious. Oh, well. He can't really put anything in defense position. And my Buster Blader is not a dark card. So, even if he does try to use um, Palladium, the Oracle Mahad, there's no way he's going to take down my Buster Blader. He'll have to go for one of my other two targets, and he won't be able to one-shot them, hopefully. Right, let's see what he has. Enough yammering. Come on, play something. Dude. What are you, what are you sitting there thinking of? Like, either set something or pass. He didn't even draw it yet. That's ridiculous. Attack position. Blackstone Legend, are you serious? Well, he's about to be in some serious trouble. Well, whatever he plans on bringing out of his deck. Yeah, doesn't matter. It's going to be a dragon, most likely. Forced into defense. And he's only going to make me stronger, so... Good game, good win. That's a good way to start this off. And obviously, we can't end the video here. So we're going to jump on in, do another ranked. Continue on our quest to be the best. Although, I know, that's not actually going to happen. It's just fun to say. It's nice to have some type of goal to aim for instead of just, oh, I'm going to play some ranked, oh, I lost, whatever. So, let's see if I can actually push ourselves, get through Platinum, because I've never reached uh, Platinum more than, I think, three times now. So, I would like to reach Legend at least once, but I feel like I could actually go to King of Games if I to keep trying. Ooh, Redis Baby Dragon. Uh, Return of the Red Eyes is not very useful right now, unfortunately. Uh, I do want to play it as a decoy, but it's not, it's not worth it this turn. All right, what are you going to play? Attack position. Thank you. Come on, big money. Glad you're your beast, eh? Well, we are uh, going to start attacking his down cards. Do, do, do. Hello there. Uh, one, two, or three. Let's go for three. Is 
So, I'm gonna use Black Metal Dragon next. Come on, end your turn. End it. No, he's gonna continue on his Gladiator Beast uh, Rampage. I guess it's not a Rampage yet, but it can be very easily. Ooh. Boom. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. <sighs> Posture Whelp. Uh, I mean, I could technically attack with it. <laughs> Why not? Come on. Use your down card. No? Tell me I'm going to beat you with 200 damage. Okay. Oh, what? That's a waste? I mean, not really, I guess. I can't equip him to anything, but as soon as he's destroyed, I'm going to get one of the spell cards that I need. Like, his effect isn't by battle. It's from field to graveyard. So... I guess he didn't know that. Might as well play this. I mean, I could have kept it hidden for uh, some illusion, but with my toggle switch on auto, obviously there's no point. And uh, I've noticed that somebody commented um, that you need to learn the toggle feature. I had it off entirely because I'm not good with it. Uh, sometimes I forget to turn it back on and it messes me up. So I'm just going to admit to it now. But so that you can see that the toggle switch is there, I turned it on the display even if it's on auto. I might occasionally toggle, but I highly doubt it. Awesome. And honestly, I kind of want to throw Gear Freed out there, but Baby Dragon in defense position sounds like a wise choice. Uh, card to add. Red Eyes Insight. I was thinking of uh, Red Eyes Fusion directly, but I might as well use an Insight. Throw one of my Red Eyes out. Thank you. Um, uh, Wyvern's not a bad option. But it's not strong enough. So I'm actually going to throw a Red-Eyes Black Dragon out there in attack position. You're probably not going to expect it. There we go. Nice. Alright, let's get that insight going. And uh, I guess technically we don't need another Red-Eyes Fusion. Uh, I'm going to throw... Wyvern away for his special summoning capabilities and I'm going to take my red eye spirit alright let's uh mm, no I'm just going to do this sorry I was sitting there contemplating some other strategies but no point I'm just going to Throw Buster away. And the red eyes that's remaining in my deck. I do have another insight, so that might be like stale later. Because there's no red eyes black dragons. But if I get a black stone legend, it's not completely useless. It all depends. Still a red eyes fusion in there. Um Buster Whelp is seriously not a bad idea. Just for defense position. But that's okay. Attack your main guy here. Gladiator Beast Fusion. And uh, Gear Freed. Ooh, here comes the down card. War Chariot. Get the activation and destroy it. Interesting. He has no more down cards, though. So, finally, some life point damage. None against me, and he finally has, like, 300 against him. Took a bit. 
Ooh. Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna mess around. Uh, yeah. I was tempted to throw him in defense, but just in case. Hmm. Yep. Enemy controller. Uh, it's not good. Who are you gonna take? Doesn't matter, because I get to unequip him, and that's gonna add a Blackstone Legend to my hand. And disable that. Oh, really? <laughs> What's going on? Nobody ever surrenders to me until I'm recording, I swear. What is going on? I'll send him the nice. <sighs> Alright, well, I don't really want to push my luck. But we do need one more win to rank up. And I got a super rare ticket for next time. Oh, uh, yeah, let's do this. I was just contemplating if I should have used the super rare ticket, but it's okay. I'll do that after or in between videos. I haven't decided. Or I might save it for the next time. And let somebody comment down below and be like, hey, if you're using this, you should go grab this with that ticket. I do not mind the advice whatsoever. In fact, I encourage it. It makes me a better duelist. And it gets everyone more engaged, so. Let's do this third battle. Merrick with Shadow Game. If we win, we rank up. Alright, let's do this. Really, that's never a good sign when somebody passes on the first turn. I'm not a fan. Um, Wyvern's a decent idea just in case. Yeah, we're going to throw a Wyvern away this time. And I'm going to pull Return of the Red Eyes. Alright, let's do this. Throw Buster. And, yeah, the top one. Top one's always the best one to throw. Or I could be wrong. And then I'm going to set gear freed as well. It's kind of unfortunate that I'm not going to get big, big damage. Get a free win, but... I'm gonna try. Come on, what do you got in your hand? Is that Kyroid? Kyroid. Huh, lame. At least we got Buster Blader equipped. And Shadow Game. Ouch. Oh, so what? He's gonna take 300 in the next turn. I'm gonna take, what, 800? That's brutal. All right, what do you got? Super heavy samurais. No, I'm gonna keep that face down. I guess now I could toggle it so I don't have to keep like turning away that screen, that prompt or whatever. Uh, no. Honestly, though, he already knows that it's there, so there's no point. That's that's when you use toggle, I'm assuming, is for, like, bluffing. So that when they summon something, that wouldn't be there. But that's fine. I'm going to keep him guessing with it. Maybe it'll make him weary enough just to want to destroy it outright. Uh, use super heavy Sam's. Not a fan of them. I think I have enough to make one of those decks. So I'll do one of those in the future. But yeah, I'm not very well versed with them. So I'll have to practice duel with them a couple times. And this is going to hurt. Uh, 
What's he gonna go for? Trumpeter. <sighs> and that, of course. Frickin' Giga Gloves! He's definitely uh, taking his sweet time to make sure he doesn't mess this up. I don't blame him, though. Like, that's a, a deck you want to play properly if you're going to play it. If you play it properly, it's really good, too. It can be devastating. So he's going to go for the stealth one, right? If I'm not mistaken. And then he'll probably, what, try stack shield wall on it and finish me off in one turn? I wonder if we can pop an effect on him during his damage step. Because I know if he's di not direct tagging, but if I know if he's targeting my red eyes, then I can um, chain him. I don't know about direct attacks. Ooh. Maybe. All right, let's see. Come on. I know you're not done setting up. You're just taking your sweet time about it. My uh, of course. Let's battle. Go. I attack you directly with my monster. What, you don't get two attacks? I thought you had two attacks. Oh, no, wait, no, no, no. I think that's the equip. Yeah, that's the equip card. Oh, I just remembered that. Interesting. All right, well, we're going to throw you out there, obviously. And defense position, because why not? Love this animation. Sorry, I'm not going to skip it. He just looks so badass. Red Eyes has always been the super coolest. Like, one of my OG favorites. The baby dragon, eh? That doesn't really mean anything. However, I'm going to throw regular Red Eyes into the deck. Pull a Red Eyes Fusion. And surprise! Uh, the one from my field. Yeah. I was gonna throw one from my deck, but no, 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 no. Yeah, sure. He only needs to be equipped onto one of them, I guess. I was thinking of putting three and three. But no point. He's going to use his Kyroid again. I haven't forgot about it. Really? What are you, what are you waiting for? Just use your Kyroid. Don't pretend like you're not going to. There you go. Like, come on. You need to be like, oh no, this is not gonna kill me, so I me as well. Alrighty, let's just hope that I can stay afloat for this last turn. Come on, dude, you're winning. I use the term loosely. You are killing me in life points. What, did I uh, disrupt your strategy? What's wrong? Come on, we're not done yet, are we?
Another kite ride? Use it. Use your kite ride. I bet you have it. He's like, I don't want to use it on a baby dragon. Ooh, interesting. So he gets to cancel that out and bring my attack points to zero. So all he needs is to do 1,200. That was smart. I forgot Giga Gloves could do that from the graveyard. He's got another synchro in there. Yep. Wow. There you go. See, that's why you don't overlook anything. Because one thing that I did not look for, I was just looking straight for the victory. Totally forgot. Ooh, there's the shield wall. Doesn't matter. You're going to win as soon as you attack me. Come on. Game. All right, so we lost one, but that's okay. We won a couple other ones, and uh, I'm sure a lot of people are going to tell me exactly what I did wrong, so don't be shy. I'll take it to heart and try and become better, and uh, yeah. It's uh, not the showcase I wanted for this, even though it's not a showcase. This was just the first episode of this little playlist i'm gonna do but yep in theory when you can use dna surgeon and buster blader together they're pretty good i got to use them a few times just not get to show you guys so maybe next time but until then have a wonderful day